What's up guys, it's Anthony from AB Fitness Center here and welcome to the AB Fitness Center show where we help you to lose body fat, gain muscle, get stronger and look better. Yeah, like I said, my name is Anthony Bevilacqua and today we're going to talk about how long does it actually take to get results. So I get that question a lot. People want results yesterday, I mean myself included, I'm always looking to, to get a little bit of an edge and get more results yesterday off my effort. But you got to understand that it really, it's going to be different for every person. There's no real set answer. So I'm sorry if you thought that you were going to click this video and you were going to find out that it's going to take you one week to get to where you want to go. Uh, typically, that's not really the case anyway. So the first question you have to ask yourself when it comes to how long is it going to take me to get there is, what exactly is your goal? So again, is your goal to lose 100 pounds? Is your goal to lose 5 pounds? Is your goal to bench 400 pounds? Or is your goal to bench 20 pounds? So you ha those goals are really going to be the most important thing. And my my uh, one of my trainers, Pete Kacharian, he was my co-host on a podcast that we did together. So he's a good buddy of mine, good friend. But one of the things that he told me, and I learned this from him, was you have to focus. And what focus means is follow one path, one course until successful. So what that exactly means is if your goal is to lose whatever, 70 pounds, 50 pounds, whatever it is, that's where your target's got to be. You got to really be eyeing on that goal. You got to stay on that goal. And that's going to be the most important thing. You can't simultaneously do a lot of different things. So for example, if I want to grow my arms to the, to the biggest they've ever been, I can't also be in a dieting phase. I can't focus on losing body fat and bringing my arms to the biggest I've ever been because it's just not going to happen. Those two goals kind of contradict themselves. So you got to really ask yourself that question, what is my goal? And then fine tune that. And like we say at AB Fitness Center, you want to set smart goals, specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and time-based. So I want to lose 20 pounds by 12 weeks from now, whatever, whatever, if that's the goal. But you have to really narrow that down. Okay, now that we narrow down the goal, we can now get a little more in specific. So let's just say your goal is fat loss, okay? The rate of fat loss is going to depend on the person. So remember, someone who has to lose 80 pounds is gonna have a longer time to diet than someone who has to lose only 10. It's a big difference there. So the rate of healthy, sustainable, long-term, permanent fat loss is anywhere between half a pound to two pounds per week. Okay, that's usually the general average where you can kind of keep that weight off. If you're losing more than that, typically what happens is you end up losing some muscle mass. And when you lose muscle mass, it's going to change the way you look in a bad way, not in a good way. The more muscle mass you have, the tighter your skin is going to be, the more toned you're going to look, the more muscular you're going to look, uh, the faster your metabolism is going to be, and the more calories you're going to burn at rest. So this is why muscle is so important to actually changing the way your body looks. But... The rate of fat loss is anywhere between half a pound to two pounds a week. That's a good starting point for fat loss, okay? So you got to keep that in mind too. So now, now that you kind of have an idea, okay, I want to lose 20 pounds, it's going to take you about 20 weeks of dieting to get there. So it's important that now you understand that because now you can set a realistic goal for yourself and say, okay, if I really want to lose 20 pounds, it's going to take me about, you know, four months right? Four months? Yeah, something like that. Uh, my math is terrible, but whatever. It's going to take you about 20 weeks to get there. So now you can realistically say, okay, I'm going to lose a pound a week, and then you can break it down from there and follow it through. So you got to understand that too. All those things that you see in the media, um, you know, articles, you know, Kim Kardashian or whoever lost 30 pounds on the watermelon diet in one month. That's not realistic at all. First of all, weight on the scale is very, very different than actual body fat loss. Weight on the scale can actually be from a couple things. You could lose a couple pounds overnight. Let me just adjust my camera here. You could lose uh, some weight overnight just by not drinking as much, maybe pooping a little bit more. You know, So weight on the scale doesn't really matter. What matters is your body composition and the way your body looks. So this is why some trainers check body fat levels. Again, it's just another tool that you could check. But a good tool is just by eyeing your clothes. If your clothes are fitting you know, tighter and not tighter, I guess, like neater, right? Looking neater, if you're looking better in your clothes and you're feeling better, it's usually a good indicator that you're making progress and losing some body fat and gaining some muscle. So that's the rate of loss, okay? The next thing is gonna also be, that's gonna set your standard. The next thing is your commitment level. How committed are you to getting this? So if I wanna lose 20 pounds in 20 weeks, 
like I said, I set that goal. Uh, how committed am I to this? Am I half in? Am I half out? Am I all the way in the pool or am I just dipping my toes in? Because that's going to matter too. If I'm halfway dieting, it's going to take 40 weeks to lose that weight, right? Or if I'm fully in, it may, I may get there faster. And by fully in, I mean, okay, you're committed to the process. You're committed to tracking your macros every day and finding out how many calories you need, tracking your protein, your carbs, your fats, committed to hitting all your workouts every week and committed to getting stronger week after week and repeating that. That's how committed you need to be in order to achieve those baseline results or better. Again, if you're falling off or you, you know, all right, you know, I might do it this week. I might, you know, I'm dieting today. We have a party this weekend. No, it's just going to take you even longer to get there. So you got to prioritize this a little bit. This is really important to you. Again, I tell all the clients this too. I hate to force anybody to do something they don't want to do. But if you're not being consistent with it and you're not committed to it, you're just going to kind of be spinning your wheels and you're going to get frustrated super, super fast. So many people that I talk to, they're halfway in. They diet good Monday through Thursday and then the weekends, they're all over the place. And like, oh, it's two or three days of, of bad eating. Well, it's just like, yeah, that's half the week. There's seven days in a week. That's half the week right there. So it doesn't really make any sense in that sense. So you got to really be committed to it. You also want to understand too that your consistency is going to be the thing that gets you there. When you're consistent with something, the, your results compound on each other. So one of my favorite, favorite quotes is, success doesn't come from something that you do occasionally. It comes from something you do consistently. So we want to try to keep everyone as committed and as consistent as possible in order to get those results. So for myself, I've never, I never miss a workout day, no matter what it is. If I have to get up super early to get it in, if I have to work out late at night to do it, um, you know, I, I get, make sure I get my workouts in. Nutrition wise, I've, I've logged everything every day. Again, this is what keeps me accountable to keeping track of it, but whatever your nutrition method is, I keep track of all my calories, all my carbs, all my protein, all my fat. Yes, you're going to have your days where you kind of slip up, right? But when, and going back to what I said earlier, that compounding effect, what happens is if you have one little mess up here, one little mess up there, it's going to kind of override it because you've been so consistent that it's just going to be a little blip on the screen in the long run. So I guess that's a really long answer for a simple question. How long does it take to get results? The answer is one, it depends. It depends on your goal, it depends on how committed you are, and it depends on how consistent you stay. So the takeaways for you right now listening to this is you want to make sure that you stay consistent. Find an approach that you like, find an approach that works for you, and then stay consistent with it. That's what we tell all our clients. That's why we preach flexible dieting. That's why we love the methods that we give our clients because it allows people to still enjoy their life while still getting stronger, while still getting in the best shape ever. So that's the answer for you. And again, just remember that rate of fat loss, healthy, sustainable, long-term permanent fat loss is anywhere between half a pound to two pounds a week. Again, it's just going to depend on your goal. So just keep that in mind. So if you liked what you heard today, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you never miss a beat. And also I want you to comment below and let me know what your goals are. Let's see if we can help you out and uh, see if there's anything I could do to help you. All right, guys, I'll catch you on the next one.